Turning effects of forces. The moment of a force. Well, the moment of a force, well, that's defined as the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the force's line of action to the pivot. And the units are in Newton meters. Couples. A couple is a pair of forces equal in magnitude which tend to produce rotation only. So the forces have got a, a perpendicular distance between them of D. Now the force on the left, that's going to produce a turning effect going around clockwise. And also the force on the right is also going to produce a turning effect going around clockwise. And the distance between the force, well, either of the forces and the pivot is going to be half D. So for each of these forces, the moment produced is a half times F times D. And then the other force is also going to be a half times F times D. So the total moment produced is going to be equal the force of, well, one of the forces times by the total distance between the lines of actions of the forces. So we get this equation F times D. Often it's written as F times S as well. So the size of one of the forces in newtons times the distance between them in meters. Torque of a couple. Uh, the torque of a couple is defined as the product of one of the forces of the couple uh, and the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the forces. Catherine wheel example. Okay, here's a basic example. Each rocket of a Catherine wheel produces a thrust of 25 newtons. What's the turning effect of the couple if they're 40 centimeters apart? Well, the force of one of the uh, rockets is 25 newtons. The distance between the rockets is 40 centimeters, which is 0 0.4 meters. So we're going to say 25 times 0 0.4 is equal to 10 newton meters. Rod and wheel example. Two 20 newton forces act on the ends of a 1.2 meter steel rod, whilst a rope attached to the end of a 0 0.4 meter diameter wheel prevents the rod from turning. What's the tension force on the rope? So the moment produced by the couple is going to equal the moment produced by the rope. So the couple is trying to turn the object uh, clockwise. The rope is trying to turn the object anti-clockwise. And these moments must be equal because nothing's happening. It's in equilibrium. So we can say the torque produced or the moment produced by the couple, F times D, is equal to the moment or the torque produced by the rope which is uh, T, the force we, which we don't know, times by 0 0.2. And it's 0 0.2 because uh, the distance between the line of action of T and the, uh, uh, the, the pivot where this thing is going to rotate is half the diameter of the, the wheel, uh, 0 0.2. So we've got 20 times by 1.2 is equal to T times by 0 0.2. And if I just rearrange this now, I get T equals... Uh, 120 newtons okay guys i hope that was useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye for now